Now, Come on then. Hi, I'm Elliot Stewart. I'm to, to talk to Paul McGann, the eighth Doctor Who, for me, always Marwood. Ma oh, Peter Marwood. Is that his first name? That was apparent. Well, apparently it's his first name. It's, oh. it's not written in the script, but apparently that was. So I'm told by wow, fans. Wow, you know all the stuff. information, definitely. I mean, yeah, what, does, what does the greatest mean? Little oh, Peter Marwood, exactly. Yes. Bless him. Yes. Steady Eddie in the film. Well, that was the thing. We, we were yeah, talking yeah. earlier on about there being never going to be a sequel. No. So it's a happy ending for Marwood, but with now the original script with a certain gun and a... Well, I wouldn't say it was a happy ending. I mean, the film's not meant to have a happy ending. It's not a happy film. I mean, no, I, well, not, not in my view. <laughs> The, the thing about Withnail and I is that it's a terribly sad film that, that, that people find hilarious. <laughs> That's what it is. It, it's, actually, it's actually about some of the saddest things that can happen. It's, it's, about, it's about a parting, it's about the end of everything. They, all the way through the film they talk about it's the end of the decade, it's the end of this, it's the end of that. You know, you know that, that these two boys have got a part. It's like the end of a marriage or something. It's, you know, and you know that one of them is going to be okay, the other one isn't, you know. Um, and so, and, and, and that, and I think one of the things that resonates with people, I know this because I've spoken to people down the years since, who, who keep watching it over and over. They say, yeah, 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 that's happened to me. I've met that person. I know that, you know, someone like that. Or we lived in that kind of place. Or, you know, briefly, uh, you know, I. You know, we had those days, you know. So there's something for, for a lot of people. I was a it. performing arts student. I was a trained actor reduced to the state of living in Norwich. There you now, go. And that kind of reduced thing. to the status of a bum. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. And also the heartbreaking thing for the girls I was uh, friends with at was when you cut your hair at the end of uh, With Now, they were like, oh no, that was the saddest thing, weren't your looks? To get a job. To get a job. That, yeah, same I mean, thing but, you know, With Now <laughs> says, there's a scene in the pub where With Now says to him, Anyway, they'll make you cut your hair off, and, he's, and, and the kid goes, "Well, whatever." And he says, well, "He said you'd lose a, you'd lose a leg man, <laughs> if they asked you to, you know, just to work." You know what I mean? I have a I have a, a sci-fi thing called Doctor Witch, five seasons, yeah. online and everything. We had a Withnail and I tribute episode. A friend of mine did some impressions, and it was it was Withnail in space. So he was like, "I'm making time and space." And it was a drunken Richard E. Grant. That's impression. my life you're talking about. I'm telling it was, you, it was quite funny. I've story. actually lived like that. Oh, but in space. I mean, kind of thing, you know, that sometimes, you just yeah, a mixed up life. I got home once and, um, well, we live in a university town, you know, lots of, I always get stopped in, around this time of the year, particularly when the freshers arrive, yeah. I tend to get stopped in the street and people want to talk about with me and I, which makes me happy, I, I like it. But uh, I came on not long ago and someone had chalked on the pavement outside my house. Perfume punts. Oh dear! <laughs> with, with an arrow pointing to my front door. But well, you seem so nice. That's it. That's, it that's my life. Now. <laughs> the thing is, when you, when you get like when you a uh, big finish. Currently, I get this right. You're stranded at the moment, isn't that right? The your your doctor is trapped. Stranded. Yeah. Yeah. We, we're, we've completed them more or less now. Yeah. yeah the doctor's trapped. Yeah. Jeopardy, isn't it? It's all about Jeopardy. And you'd never think, because there's always multi-universes now, I can't imagine, like, the Withnail universe clashing That's the partly our fault, and it's partly the fault of the eighth, and it's part, you know, introducing the Time War and things like that. Uh, it's opened it up, and of course, what it's meant for Big Finish is boom time, you know, um, all new, like you say, multiverses. Um, it's never ending, it's perpetual. I love the fact that when you regenerated in that extra scene for the 50th, you started mentioning big Finnish characters. Yeah. I thought you mentioned one of the things in the comic strip, and I was like, that makes it everything canon. There you go. It's, it's, that it's, was the point. That was very cool. I don't, you know, like, I, I mean, I, I told those people this morning about, who asked me about that. I didn't realise at the time the importance of, I was just trying to learn the lines and remember the names on the piece of paper, but, but uh, it was only a few days later, someone said, wow, that's great, because now all of those characters are going to, Live again. They're, they're, they're all canonized or something, they're part of the. And it sort of it melded or it joined Big Finish with yeah. Cardiff. That's good, thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you, thank you, Pleasure. cheers.